Hi guys, welcome back to Humbakoi. <laughs> so before we get into this week's video, Nikki, Koi Widow, is doing a wing walk. So I thought I'd put a little bit of footage of this first. And then we'll be heading home to do a bit of a pond clean. And then we've got some of the new, not new, new tours, uh, the back to clear to try. So we're going to give that a go this week. And a few people are interested in that. I've always been a MediClear user. So it'll be interesting to see how good it is and how long it holds in the water for. So play a little video for you and we'll go from there. So we're back. Nikki's done a wing walk. The pond hasn't been cleaned for five days and it really needs it. Let me show you the state of some of these filters. I'll go from there. So Tempest, full of rubbish. And so is the Nexus. I have just upped the speed of the Vary pump now to 40% as it was on 30% because I've noticed there's a lot of waste on the bottom where the bottom drain isn't strong enough to pull it in. I tried to back it off a bit to give the media a bit more contact time and the filter, but effectively it's ruined the sweet spot and now I've got to um, get rid of a load of waste on the bottom of the pond. So I'm just going to gently brush it towards the bottom of the drain with it on a bit more of a, an aggressive power and then back it back down later before we do this clear review. So I want the water to be clean and all the filters to be clean before I put this clay in. So let me have a whiz round, get it all cleaned up, and then we'll have a look at what this uh, this packet of clay says. They do love playing on that ledge and firing out with the return water, but the water is not looking its best at the moment. Especially after I put blanket answer in there, it just hasn't. There's still loads of bits of white powder on that shelf, as you can see. It hasn't really done a great deal, but let's see what the clay does to it. Just start doing all the pond stuff, and it starts peeing it down. Typical English weather, isn't it? But there we go. I've backed the feeder off again slightly because I had a lot of uneaten food in my skimmer today. I don't think these temperatures swings up and down. I mean, one day it's 18, the next day it's 12. I don't think that's helping anything at all. They're, they're going nuts on the appetite one day and they're eating everything that comes in it. I check the skimmer every night and then the next day, like this morning, I not touched it. So I've backed one of the feeds off it now and we'll see how they go on that. I don't want to get it to a point where everything's being eaten, not wasting it inside a basket. can't knock it they really don't catch it i have had a fluke treatment in there this week as well i did notice um one of my koi was flashing around like mad scraped a few um only could find fluke on the one that was flashing around loads so give it a bit of a pp dip and um lennox pro the pond so i didn't want to do a midweek clean i wanted to keep the uh the treatment in the pond so I've given it a good sweep now. It looks mucky and um, I'm cleaning the filters and then what I'll do is I'll let it run on a good power for a bit prior to um, putting the clay in just to clear it out and then we'll put the clay in and see if it manages to pull any of the stuff out the water column that the, um, the blanket answer has caused. Well, you can't beat cleaning. A tempest with air. No other way can get it as clean as that. And um, on to the second boil on the old Nexus. Probably three boils will get this because I've just put 
just pumped a load of dirty water just to blast it right through the pipes straight through get this on another boil after this one and then we should hopefully be a step closer to sorting the pond out but yeah it's um persisting it down now i've actually got two products to try i've got some everex and i believe that's from lincolnshire fish health um correct me if i'm wrong but i believe this is um dr paul paula reynolds brand and that she does this for the uh it's a powder that i believe lowers ammonia nitrite nitrate out of the water without affecting fish's health and remineralizes the water so i thought while increasing the feed might be a good idea to put some of this in it and it goes quite a long way to be fair it's 40 grams for a thousand gallons on the first dose so the first dose you're putting quite a bit more in it but then a regular maintenance dose of only five grams per thousand gallons so your weekly dose after you've done your first hit is a lot less so i'll be mixing my weekly dose in with the clear we'll see from there this is the clear that we bought They post a post on um, the Koi Community's Facebook group about what clear to buy. And it seemed there seemed to be two front runners really, the JPD mud or the or this one. And I'd I'd heard a lot of people before speak about this one. So I thought we'd give this one a go. If I don't like it, we can try the other one. Let's have a look at the door, so we're back to you. So it's 25 mil per thousand litres. Nice that they actually do it in litres and not gallons and that you don't have to get a converter out to uh, to know, but it's, uh, it's a really easy, easy one to do that one for me. So I've weighed my clay out. It's nearly one bubble and fins mug full. Everyone's mug has got a purpose in my filter shed. Bags. Fell from Telford Coy. You are the drill bit mug. DT has got the KH gear. Dave from Koi Karma syringe. I've got my mountain tree pen holder there. Vicky's is the most used one. That is the clear cup, as you've seen. We've got Lee's, what we've got in Lee's. Nitrite and nitrate, and I think Leo's are empty. Oh no, there's a few bits in there. So rather than having it all rattling around in a the shelf, these actually do get used. Top mug. What I will say, it's a lot thicker to mix than Mediclay. Mediclay is not as um, grey clay colour as, as this, it's very white. And this um, this clear, when water hits it, is um, sort of thicker. So we'll see if that has an effect on the filters, the pond, and everything else. What I will do is I'll get it mixed up, I'll throw it in, and um, we'll check back with you Saturday today. I'll check back on Monday and show you a picture of the pond um, as it's bank holiday and I'm off to be able to do that to be able to give the filters a clean on Monday as well after throwing the clay in there's my special portion the of the clay and the Everex filters looking nice and clean and all the fish are wondering what the, what's going on it's still got a bit of muck in it it's not too bad but it's not nowhere near where it normally is so let's give this clear well and we'll see how it is in a couple of days and see how bunged up the filters are, etc. And that's what I meant about the um thought it being a lot thicker. The Mediclay don't gloop at the bottom like that. I mean I'll mix it again with water and get it all out, but it seems to be a lot thicker clay than the Mediclays. Pond's topping up. So I'm gonna go in, get a coffee and i will come back and show you the results do a small bit of recording after 24 hours tomorrow and then i'll show you what the filters and the 
pond state the water looks like on Monday. Unless it's completely clear tomorrow. We'll see you then. This is it after 12 hours. Mediclay would be dirtier in the pond than what this is. So this is coming out the water faster than Mediclay. We'll see what it's like tomorrow. You can see the fish in this when you couldn't or medically it would be a bit more like blanket answer. I'll show you tomorrow morning and we'll see how long it is before it clears up. Good morning guys. And you Freddy. Fish seem happy. Happier than there was last week and there's no poos on the bottom now. It's still slightly clay at the bottom. Apologies if the camera's just uh, shaking a bit. I'm just trying to net one of them out. Thought I'd have a, a little ball up after a few weeks of the um, koi that got selected for me from Perfect Aquatics Growing Show. Let's have a look at it in the bowl. There it is. I just had a quick measure. It's at 26cm, so it's grown a bit. It's grown a couple of cm already, and there's... Didn't have no sumi towards the back half of it prior. I thought it'd be good just to have it on video as a few weeks development. So obviously it was Obviously it just measured 26 cm and it was 24 when I've got it with no sumi on it at all so it's actually already making quite good progression compared to the picture that it was on there. Well guys that's a couple of different new products in the pond but I won't give my opinion just yet I'll do a couple of weeks and then we'll come back to this because I don't want to use something once and say it's really good or it's not really good or the Mediclear was better or the Bactil Plus was better. I'd like to use it for a bit before I give my opinion on it. It's, it seemed to clear out the water in the time that it said on the packet. So we'll give it a couple of weeks and we'll come back to that and we'll do a bit of a recap on the Mediclear. And I've also been writing down my nitrate and nitrate to see if the Everex actually does what it states in the tin. Until then guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm sure I'll see some of you very soon. I think we're hoping to attend some of the shows in this uh, up and coming weeks. So if you're there, come over, say hello, and um, we'll catch you on the next one.